Tyler Perry, born Emmett Perry Jr., September 13, 1969, is an American actor, filmmaker, and playwright. He is the creator and performer of Mabel Medea Simmons, a tough elderly woman, and also portrays her brother Joe Simmons and her nephew Brian Simmons. Perry's films vary in style from orthodox filmmaking techniques to filmed productions of live stage plays, many of which have been subsequently adapted into feature films. Medea's first appearance was in Perry's play I Can Do Bad All By Myself, 1999, staged in Chicago. Perry wrote and produced many stage plays during the 1990s and early 2000s. His breakthrough performance came in 2005 with the film Diary of a Mad Black Woman, which he wrote and produced as an adaptation of his stage play of the same name. He also developed numerous television series, most notably Tyler Perry's House of Pain, which ran for eight seasons on TBS from 2006 to 2012. In 2011, Forbes listed him as the highest paid man in entertainment, earning $130 million between May 2010 and May 2011. In 2012, Perry struck an exclusive multi-year partnership with Oprah Winfrey and her Oprah Winfrey Network, OWN. The deal featured scripted projects such as The Haves and The Have-Nots. In 2019, he produced the political drama series The Oval for BET. Outside of his own productions, Perry has been cast in numerous Hollywood films including Star Trek 2009, Alex Cross 2012, Gone Girl 2014, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows 2016, Vice 2018, Those Who Wish Me Dead 2021, and Don't Look Up 2021. Perry has also done voice acting for animated films such as The Star 2017 and PAW Patrol. The movie, 2021. Perry's films and shows have cumulatively grossed over $660 million, and his net worth is an estimated $1 billion. Despite commercial success, his productions have received criticism from critics and scholars who believe his films perpetuate negative or offensive portrayals of African Americans, along with the critical reception itself being largely negative. In 2020, Perry was included in Time's list of the 100 most influential people and received the Governor's Award from the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Additionally, he received the Gene Herzholt Humanitarian Award from the Academy Awards in 2021 and was inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame the following year. He has a net worth of $850 million. Early Life Tyler Perry was born Emmett Perry Jr. in New Orleans, Louisiana, to Willie Maxine Perry and Emmett Perry Sr., a carpenter. He has three siblings. Perry's childhood was described in retrospect as a living hell. In contrast to his father, his mother took him to church each week, where he sensed a certain refuge and contentment. At age 16, he had his first name legally changed from Emmett to Tyler in an effort to distance himself from his father. Many years later, after seeing the film Precious, Perry was moved to reveal for the first time that he had been molested by a friend's mother at age 10. He was also molested by three men prior to this and later learned his own father had molested his friend. A DNA test taken by Perry indicated that Emmett Sr. was not Perry's biological father. While Perry did not complete high school, he earned a general educational development, GED. In his early 20s, watching an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show, he heard someone describe the sometimes therapeutic effect the act of writing can have, enabling the author to work out his or her own problems. This comment inspired him to apply himself to a career in writing. He soon started writing a series of letters to himself, which became the basis for the musical I Know I've Been Changed. Personal Life Perry is good friends with Janet Jackson, Will Smith, and Oprah Winfrey. Perry is a Christian. Many of the themes in his work reflect theology and social behavior indicative of the predominantly black church culture, such as the many scenes in both his stage and screen work that feature church settings and worship styles commonly found in predominantly African-American churches, including showcases of gospel music and artists. On July 20, 2009, Perry sponsored 65 children from a Philadelphia Day camp to visit Walt Disney World. After reading that a suburban swim club, the Valley Swim Club in Huntingdon Valley, Pennsylvania, had shunned them. He wrote on his website, I want them to know that for every act of evil that a few people will throw at you, there are millions more who will do something kind for them. On December 8, 2009, Perry's mother, Willie Maxine Perry, died at age 64, 
following an illness. He lives and works in southwest Atlanta where he operates the Tyler Perry Film and TV Studios. In August 2010, it was reported that he had purchased Dean Gardens, a 58-acre estate in the Atlanta suburb of Johns Creek. He tore down the existing 32,000-square-foot mansion and planned, but never built, a new, environmentally friendly home on the property. On November 30, 2014, Perry's partner Jalila Bekele gave birth to their son, Amon. In December 2020, Perry announced that he was a single bachelor. On March 7, 2021, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, publicly revealed in the television interview Oprah with Meghan and Harry that Perry provided initial security and housing for three months that allowed the couple to safely relocate from Canada to California in March 2020, following the withdrawal of their British royal protection. Perry is also godfather to their daughter, Princess Lilibud of Sussex. Following the death of Stephen, Twitch boss, Perry uploaded a video to his Instagram account where he spoke about his own struggles with depression and revealed he had attempted suicide several times before his career took off. To overcome his fear of flying, Perry took flight training lessons and obtained a private pilot certificate. He flies a Cirrus SR-22T aircraft. Legal Actions The Writers Guild of America, West the Writers Guild of America, West filed unfair labor practice charges with the National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, alleging that Perry's production company, Tyler Perry Studios, unlawfully fired four writers in October 2008 in retaliation for them trying to get a union contract. The dispute was settled a month later, when TPS agreed to be a WGA signatory. MO Money Taxes In early 2009, Perry threatened legal action against MO Money Taxes, a tax preparation company based in Memphis, Tennessee, for running a TV spot that he felt offensively parroted his work, in particular Medea goes to jail. The ad features a large white male, John Cowan, in drag, named Mama Dia. The offending ad was dropped from circulation. Reception. Criticism. Tyler Perry's films have come under intense scrutiny with many scrutinizers claiming his films traffic in offensive and negative African-American stereotypes. Author Donald Bogle stated in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Medea does have connections to the old mammy type. She's mammy-like. If a white director put out this product, the black audience would be appalled. In an open letter to Perry on National Public Radio, journalist Jamila Lemieux, while thanking Perry for giving black folks jobs in front of and behind the camera, also criticized his shows Meet the Browns and House of Pain. In her letter, she stated that, both your shows are marked by old stereotypes of buffoonish, emasculated black men and crass, sassy black women. While she noted his work for its humor and positive messages of self-worth, love, and respect, she later expressed frustration that African Americans have been fed the same images of ourselves over and over and over because they sell.